This is Danny from Pico. There are times when you actually need to build your project to see it running at full speed, but there are other times when you just want to see if a feature works, see if you've actually fixed the bug. This is where Live Preview can speed up your iteration time. In this video, we're we'll adding in Live Preview SDK to our package folder. A few unit settings to change to enable the Live Preview. Then I'll show you a great example of where Live Preview actually comes in handy. We'll fix the issue and then just call it a day. Back in Unity, we're going to go to Assets, right click and show in Explorer. We're going to go into our Packages folder and we're going to drop in our Live Preview SDK, the link I'll have down below. Let's let this load. Next, we're going to change some things. Go ahead and go to Build Settings. We're going to go to our Player Settings here. And we head over to the Windows setting here. We're going to uh, uncheck the Auto Graphics API. We want to make sure it's always set to Direct uh, 3D11 and change the color space to gamma just so the live preview will work correctly. Next, we're going to go to XR plugin, head over to the window here, and we're going to enable the Pico live preview. And those should be the correct settings there. Now you go ahead and plug in the headset, and in PDC, you should show that the headset's connected. And you go ahead and press play, and then we can go in and put on your headset. And you should see an option there for you that'll say asking for a streaming, allow the streaming. And now we have streaming enabled. This is the view from the headset itself. And then you can see here, you can see the actual same view from the Unity editor. But you can see the little issue here. You can't really see the controllers and the button doesn't seem to be working. So let's go ahead and fix that back in Unity. Let's go for the controllers first. So go ahead and go to the right hand prefab here in our XR origin setup and go to the model prefab. I'm going to find our script here. And for the controller simulation, whenever it's set out on default to none, let's go ahead and set that to Pico 4 and do the same thing for the left controller prefab, Pico 4. And that should allow you to see your controllers and live preview. Next, we want to go back to input action manager. We want to change the path to the binding. Previously, we set the binding path to our Pico controllers. For live preview, we actually have to use Unity's um, generic XR controller. So go here, XR controller, right hand here, and then we'll go through the same, use the same buttons that we did before. And decorate button here, we're using the right hand, so let's use the XR controller right hand. And set for the other button here. Uh, primary button. Menu button, left hand. So same thing here, the left controller, and then we'll use the primary button again. You can make sure always save your assets. Let's, let's go ahead and press play again. I'll make this maximize just easier for you guys to view. Make sure you put it on the headset and make sure you allow the streaming. Back in live preview, we can clearly see the problem is fixed. We didn't need to compile to see the fix. We just press play. That's live preview. Hope this speeds up your edition time. I'll see you guys back here on the next time.